Good morning friends, I am Ayushi Kumari from Standard 7C of DAV Public School, Purab Saran Mughal. Today I am going to explain you how the life cycle of silk moth takes place and how the silk fiber is obtained from the silk moth. This is the whole life cycle of a silk moth. As we all know that silk moth is a large white insect and it is a female silk moth which lays hundred of eggs at a time which are stored at a suitable temperature. Now these eggs are hatched to produce larvae which are called caterpillars or silk worms. These larvae are kept in clean boxes where they fed on fresh mulberry leaves for 25 to 30 days and then they grow in size. The caterpillars then secretes a liquid. The liquid hardens on coming in contact with air and changes into a fine thread which is totally made up of protein. Now the caterpillar completely covers itself with these fine fibers which is called cocoon. Now the silk worm develops into a silk moth inside the cocoon. And then the adult silk moth comes out from the cocoon. Now the cocoons are collected and exposed to steam. The silk fiber are then separated out from the cocoons. This process is called reeling. Now the collected silk fibers are dyed in different color. This process is called dyeing. Now the silk fibers are then spun into thread and woven into silk cloth. There are different types of silk products like silk saris, shirts, blouses, etc. And due to its light weight and soft attribute, silk is also a favorite material for all over the world. I hope that you all have understand this process. Thank you.